Have you heard about the new thing here with ePlan? The ePlan Smart Wiring? The ePlan Smart Wiring is basically this here. We'll, we will take a look at this video and it shows very well. The digital product description also supplies all the information required for manual wiring. Supported by 3D visualization, the wiring technician is guided step by step through the installation situation. The continuous reuse of engineering data in production reduces manual steps and minimizes input errors, increases process reliability, and leads to permanent quality improvements. So, on the ePlan side, of course, we know that we have wires. Wires that are generated here from the correct T node that goes from one device to another. And when you actually look at the potential, you can see that for the 120 volt, we're generating some red wires. If I move down here to the 24 VDC, the 24 VDC is recognized here with a different color, which is the blue uh, wire. I can associate here a specific value, let's say 20 gauge American wire gauge to be the size. I can resize it. And this gives me actually the sizing of every single wire or I can do it individually. I can double click on one specific wire and specify what I want. Parallel to this, <coughs> we have the panel layout. The panel layout in Pro Panel is done in 3D. We work with here individual surfaces like the mounting panel and inside this mounting panel we place our devices. Now these devices, let's take a look at the front view here. Every device has, of course, a device tag that is related back to the original schematics and has, of course, some connection points associated with it. And through these connection points and the wire information that we have provided in the schematics, we can do some sort of routing. And this basically primarily gives me the wires. And each of these wires has now a specific length associated to it. Uh, driven directly here from the uh, the 3D. Now, before I actually can mount the components, I will look at the different views of the panel layout. Here we can see we have individual views of the same panel displayed in different fashions, whatever suits you best, right? This is basically to identify every one of these components that you saw in the uh, schematics. And typically we would provide a user with a wire list. So the wire list is a generated report that comes with a source and destination and some details about the wire size, uh, the length, the uh, gauge, whatever. And it's all sorted in one specific way <coughs> that was actually chosen during the report, right? When you are here, in the generate report, you look at connection list, and inside the connection list, you can sort here by color, by gauges, or whatever. Now, of course, this may not exactly be suited to what the electrician wants. So we have a better tool. We are now giving out to the electrician a tool called the ePlan Smart Wiring. The ePlan Smart Wiring can actually be started on a small iPad, can be started on any Windows application. And here, when we open one of these published projects, of course, you just have to go to Project Publish and the file is ready to open here. It will show you all the different source and destination, so all the different wires, as you can see. If I want to look at one specific wire, I can see where the source is located. I can see where the target is located. I can see source and target together. I can take a deeper, closer look at the whole installation itself. I can now, of course, zoom in, zoom out. I can move around. I can even rotate and see where the wire actually goes. We can see it here highlighted in red. And go back to this portion here. We can see what is actually to be connected on the left-hand side. Once it's done, I can click here on the small button here and the wire is recognized to be finished. And I can pass on and move on to the next one and just say, okay, this wire, this wire, and this wire, and this wire, I'm gonna wire it up. <coughs> and when I'm finished, I'm finished at the end of the day. Furthermore, if I decide to actually install all 
16 American wire gauge, all blue wires. And I start exactly as what we saw before. I want to start with this fuse here. We can see where the wiring goes from one to the other. And uh, I can go down here to some terminal connection. So this one here is at the top, the outcoming of the fuse. And here we go down to a specific terminal. So if I start with this side, it's done. Then I can do the other side, it's done. As you move forward, you will have some um, wires that were installed, some of them that weren't installed. If you finish at the end of the day, you can just save it, and tomorrow you come back and you just look at the unfiltered one. You can also lock some out of the process that you want to do a little bit later. You can sort by bundles if you want to, and <coughs> everything is pretty much in here, in line with what you've done. So of course, we reduce the number of errors. We can have multiple people wiring up the whole thing. And this small thing here, you can actually test on the behalf of ePlan until January. This is the ePlan smart wiring. So if you need any information on where to find it, go to our websites, in this case here, ePlan Canada or anywhere else, and we will help you get this ePlan smart wiring down to the shop floor to be more efficient.